Many of the games that you play when you're young, they are zero sum. If somebody wins, the other person loses. So in order to win, you want to make things as bad as possible for the other party. Real life is not a zero-sum game. It's not a winner and a loser. You can both be winners. When a company does well, it could be that we could all be better off. Often we think that the value that a company creates can be given by a pie, and that pie can be given either to investors in the form of profits, or society in the form of fair wages to employees, fair taxes to the government, and fair prices to customers. Now, often CEOs have what I call the pie-splitting mentality. They want to increase profits, but if the pie is fixed, the only way to take a greater slice for yourself is to reduce the slice given to others, so pay employees as little as possible. What I wanted to do is to present a new revolutionary approach to business, which I call the pie growing mentality, which is by actually investing in your stakeholders, by treating your workers better, by going above and beyond what you can provide them. You're growing the pie because the employees become more motivated and more productive, and therefore you are also going to become more profitable as a company. Showing the evidence behind the pie growing mentality is critical because without evidence, it would just be wishful thinking. The people that we need to change are the more hard-headed businessmen and businesswomen. So these might be the people who historically focused on profit. Some of the largest investors, they're all based in a profit mindset. But because there's a lot of evidence behind it, then even potentially skeptical audiences are willing to embrace it, not only for the moral and ethical case, which is important, but also for the business and financial case. If we indeed want to repurpose society, it's not sufficient for CEOs just to know that purpose leads to profit. We need to change the evaluation schemes and the horizons so that people have long-term perspectives. So ESG and purpose have become really popular in recent years. And that's great in many ways, but what it has led to is many people who haven't done research in this area now start to write about it. And I think the concern with that is that if you want to make your name for yourself in a new area that you haven't written about in the past, you will say some large sweeping things like shareholders are evil, purpose always pays off, and often those extreme statements will be lapped up because they are quite blunt and they're quite powerful, but often there isn't much research behind them. Typically, most issues in reality are not black and white. So the stronger and the more one-sided an argument is, then the least likely it is to be supported by data and evidence. Yes, we do care about wider society, we do care about climate change and biodiversity, but we also should care about profits and innovation and growth, and so the challenge is to pursue both together. And the evidence suggests that this is not a too-good-to-be-true pipe dream, but something which is realistic and achievable.